All year long on Local 4, we are making a commitment to highlight people making a difference in our community with our Go For It campaign. At Local 4, it's part of our intentional efforts across our entire station to lift up those who embody the Go For It spirit and are doing things to make Southeast Michigan a better place to live. This year, a viewer named Darlene let us know about a man named Stephen Rimmer. He's a part of a group that runs a pantry called the Seward Sharing Table. And as local forest Demond Fernandez found out, Steve doesn't wa really want to take credit for putting people first. Take a look. We got a lot of bread, we got a lot of shrimp. On the 8,000 block of 2nd Avenue in Detroit, it's not uncommon seeing neighbors gathering around a tent, waiting for a delivery. Neighbors Bonnie and Gail are among those volunteering at the Seward Sharing Table. It's a hub. People we can keep up here. with each other. It's a 24-hour community pantry of sorts where people can leave or take a variety of food and groceries to feed their bodies. To be able to get, you know, get to a place to get resources, that's a blessing. It's a blessing beyond blessing. This thing. <laughs> the Seward Sharing Table is distributing nutritious options to help families get by. Working close by is Steve Rimmer. We get donations from Metro Food Rescue and Food Rescue Us. He's a coordinator with the Tenants Association of New Center Plaza and Marliner, and he's a regular presence around the Seward sharing table. It's a lot of people paying high rent prices right now and struggling making decisions between paying their rent and buying food. Rimmer's passionate about volunteering his time, making sure neighbors who need food are getting fed. You go to the supermarket right now, you spend 100 bucks and you're not getting that much. Food is just so expensive right now. Um, and people need food to survive. So I think it is very important for people to have access to that, um, you know, without any restrictions, any barriers. Rimmer and these neighbors say they've been dedicated to keeping the sewage sharing table up and running, despite pushback from some in the community who called the pantry a nuisance. They say this effort is about putting people first. People should know about things like this. Um, the more people can come together and look out for each other, I think the better the community will be. And Steve Rimmer is helping make the community a better place. And he joins us now live in studio. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the incredible work you're doing. This is awesome. Yeah, thank you for having me here. And it's just something just trying to set an example for people in the community so we can make a difference. Absolutely. So let's get right into this and have you share how people can help with your mission. Because I'm sure that people saw that and they want to get involved as well. Uh, yeah, so if you want to help, you can reach out to us on social media, Facebook, at the Sewer Sharing Table. Um, yeah, right now we're just, we have our main distribution days are Tuesdays at 3 and Sundays at 10 a.m. So if you're ever um, in the area, if you need any food or if you'd like to come volunteer and help us out, that'd be great. Absolutely. So I want to read something to you. It's the message received from Darlene who nominated you mm -hmm. to be recognized as a go for it difference maker. She wrote, you ready for this? Have you heard this yet? I don't think so. Okay. Try not to cry. Oh. All right. <laughs> Mr. Steve Rimmer, make sure that our community has food. At least three days out of the week, thanks to Mr. Rimmer, my family can go to the share table on Seward Street in Detroit Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday to get enough food to last for the week. I'm so grateful for people like Mr. Steve Rimmer that care enough without asking or expecting anything. The only thing that Mr. Rimmer asks is that we get whatever we're in need of, but just leave enough for our fellow neighbors and the families that come behind you. I'm sending this message because I believe that a person like Mr. Rimmer deserves acknowledgement, even though he'll never ask, nor does he feel like he deserves praise for feeding our community. Thank you for allowing me to share this story. Uh, How does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. I know Darlene. She's a big help at the table. She's always out there helping us make sure things are taken care of. So uh, I really appreciate her and everyone else. It's a lot of folks involved. It's a group effort and we really take pride in um, it's a com being a community. Um, it's really hard over there. It's a lot of apartment buildings and people paying higher prices. So um, this is something we thought we can come together and be in control of to actually help us you know, be better day to day to help us do more things. Absolutely. Now, I told him not to get choked up, and I'm the one who's a little choked <laughs> up right now. But I also have someone else here with me who I want to invite in who have something special for you. This is Bob Ellis, our vice president and general manager at WDIV. Bob, you have something that you want to share. I do. So, Steve, we um, at the station, as Tati mentioned, we are, are working this year to in, uh, be intentional about celebrating people who embody the go-for-it spirit. And, and certainly... That story and the words from Darlene, um, you do that. And so on behalf of 
our partners at Masco Corporation and Henry Ford Health System and the employees here at uh, Channel 4. We want to thank you for what you do and present you with this month's Go Forward Award for your work in the community. Thank that you. I awesome. appreciate it. Thank That's you. That's awesome. You're welcome. That's awesome. We could show that to the camera. Let's get a good shot of that. And Bob, while he's doing that, can you share with everyone the importance of Go For It and why we will continue to recognize and honor people like Steve throughout the year? Yeah, we, you know, we, we believe that by spending time on all areas of our station and doing things to celebrate and, and let our community know the great things are happening, that we will help inspire others. I hope that Steve's story today inspires others to get involved in their communities. And I think there's plenty of bad news out there. We want to make certain that we spend time here at this television station uh, uh, telling people the good stories, like what we just heard. And so these are very important awards. We're going to do this monthly. And uh, we just thank you for what you do and hope that you, in fact, inspire others to do what you are to make this a better place to live. Thank you. That is awesome. Well, Steve, let's give you one more push for the Seward Sharing Table and when and people, when and where people can come and see you. Yes, yeah, so actually today we'll be out there at 3 o'clock. Um, you can come out if you need any food or if you want to just come help out, you want to drop off some food, we'll be out there. And then, um, also on Sunday at 10 a.m., those are our two main days that we have big drop-offs, but we also get drops throughout the week at uh, various times. So if you're ever in the area, feel free to stop by. And um, we have phone numbers and stuff posted at the table, so if you're ever there, you can give us a call and we'll have somebody come on and help. That's awesome. Steve, thank you so much for being with us and, again, for everything that you do for our community. Thank you all. And, of course, for Bob for setting up Go For It and bringing it back to life. So That's we're right. bringing people like Steve back to the forefront. And, of course, we want to meet more people like Steve who are making a difference in their community. And that's where you come in. You can help us highlight these men and women in our Go For It segments. If you know someone doing something special, send an email to goforit at wdiv.com or you can submit a nomination at clickondetroit.com.